When does a malfunctioning electric car become more than just a breakdown? When it transforms into a potential tool for geopolitical warfare. Professor Jim Sacker, president of the Institute of the Motor Industry, has expressed concerns that Chinese-built electric vehicles EVs might be utilized by Beijing to disrupt the UK economy intentionally. Saka has warned that a substantial number of EVs could be equipped with spyware, enabling remote immobilization by Chinese officials and leading to a standstill on British roads. He likened Chinese EVs to Trojan horses, conjuring a fearful image that, upon reflection, seems more likely to contain confused pensioners than bloodthirsty soldiers. Although some industry experts have dismissed Saka's warnings as hysterical, arguing that the potential for remote immobilization extends beyond Chinese EVs to nearly all modern cars, the reassurance offered may not be what the British public is seeking. While not as dramatic as Bond villain plots, the idea that malfunctioning cars could be potential tools of mass disruption raises significant questions. Drivers may find it challenging to discern whether a minor drivetrain issue is at play or if it signals the onset of a global conflict. In this hypothetical scenario where the nation's roads become a new arena for international conflict, spare a thought for organizations like the RAC and AA. Traditionally viewed as roadside assistance services, they could now be considered the first line of defense in a global conflict. Perhaps everything we thought we knew about history is inaccurate. Could British Leyland's unreliable cars from the 70s be a clever strategy in the battle against communism? If China indeed has a grand plan to destabilize the UK's economy, one might question whether they've visited the southeast of England lately. If a foreign agent were to initiate a monstrous motorway traffic jam, would anyone even notice? China, it seems we don't require a remote EV shutdown to cause severe congestion on our roads. We are perfectly capable of creating gridlock on our own.